It's not easy. No, it really is not easy. YouTube, that is. Being a so-called <laughs> YouTuber, I can't believe I just said that. That's just nuts. Well, you could say a fading YouTuber, maybe. But it's crazy. It really is crazy. And, okay, we don't earn a lot, but we try and keep our head above water more, like, you know, tread, treading water more like it. But we keep plodding on. And it, if it wasn't for you guys and gals and what have you, you know, and your support, I'd have given up by now. Whether it be from buy me coffees or stuff like your Patreon or that sort of thing. But also the emotional support. Now about four weeks ago, I think it was about four weeks ago, I uploaded a video because I was on the verge of giving up. I really was, and I was just I was finding it difficult. Because one minute you're up there, the next minute you're down there, and it is an emotional roller coaster. It really is. And I know it's a lot of it's my own failings and that, you know, I'm a bit of an erratic person. You know, but I do I do actually wear my heart on my sleeve a little bit, you know. I'll, and I'll, I will speak my mind. I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I really don't, unless you treat Scofie, of course. But, <laughs> um, no, it's, it's just tough. It's tough. But I was um, reading through the comments this morning, as I well, do every single morning and during the day and at night. I'm always reading the, <laughs> the comments. <laughs> Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, one comment this morning really touched me. I mean, it really, really touched me. I felt quite emotional. And I'm not really, you know, an emotional person. I don't go, uh, you know, cry, I don't cry every two seconds and stuff like that. You know, I'm tough, me. Yeah, <laughs> not really, no. But that did touch me. I have to admit, I, I, was, I, felt, I, I felt it. I really did. And I'll tell you why it made, you know, why I felt, that, felt it. I kind of make these videos to put the information out there and what have you. But also, yeah, it, it gives me a bit of a boost as well and makes me, it builds my confidence up if it makes any sense. But do you know what I didn't uh, contemplate? It's how my videos, how they affect other people. I, it just didn't click, didn't even come into my mind. I wanted to provide the information, I wanted to do it in my own style, which is a bit odd, I know sometimes, it's just who I am. Odd. <laughs> but I this rig, it got me. I did it, it did actually really get me. And I did reply to the comment and what have you, and um basically this individual who left this comment this morning and he was so appreciative of my video this morning. It, it's like how to put it I don't want to be offensive to anybody and, and it's I'm not going to say who it was obviously, you know, although he did make it public it's in, it's in the comments so it's public anyway but um, bed bound and he said to me in this comment that he hasn't been downstairs for two years just think about that for a minute been laying in that bed and all you've got is digital devices, the TV or radio, music or whatever. That's all you've got, just laying there all day. Don't hardly see anybody because you're relying on other people to come to you. I just... Yeah. And when he told me in this comment that how... Po how po words to the my videos were positively affecting him. He looks forward to him every day. I just found that just extremely humbling. I really did. I really did. And it was, um, made me quite emotional. And also, this past week, I've been... I'm the sort of person I'll help anybody. That's, I've always been like that. I'll help anyone. You know, if someone's got a problem, I'll help them. I'll help them. There's something I can do. Obviously not financially, because I don't have the money, because I can't do that. But you just... Yeah, if I can give it a bit of myself and help somebody, I will. It's just kind of who I am. Yeah, you know, my dear wife, she's just the same. She's better than I am, by by far. She's a kind, kind individual. She really is. But there's been some other developments recently as well. No, 
somebody's just started their own YouTube channel. And I know how difficult they find communication and uh, mental health and all that. Because basically what it is isn't mental health. It's, you know, life is hard anyway, isn't it? But it is... I don't mind saying who this person is because he's he's often in, in, in the chat on the... Um, and I'd like to promote him as well, to be fair. He's got a channel number three. Number and free, as in it is free. And... Uh, he just started, you know, but just having the courage to sit there and press record when it's not your, you, it's not natural for you to do so. And it wasn't for me when I first started, I was really struggled with it. And now I'm a bit more confident, sometimes it's really hard, you know, just to, you know, just get your worms out, <laughs> your words. And it's, um, it's a struggle, something that is difficult sometimes, because you've, you're only as good as your last video, kind of what they say. So probably I haven't gone wrong. <laughs> well, number three, he started this channel, and I know he he, he has um, confidence trouble and yeah you know, problems and what have you. And he's it's a massive deal for him to just press that record and publish his videos and let other people know they exist. You know, they're not perfect. Of course they're not. Nobody's videos are perfect. Mine aren't perfect. But, made a start. And that will evolve. And he'll get better at it, his audio will get better, his videos will get better, everything will get better. Because you get, you know, you learn, don't you? You know, it's how it is. We've all got to start somewhere. And he has. He's pressed record. And that's all you've got to do. you just got to press record. If you are considering doing, well, having a YouTube channel, don't procrastinate. Just give it a go. Upload the video. Just press record. Does it matter what people say? No. You know, that's one of the reasons why it's quite tough on people. They're always worrying about, you know, when they started a YouTube channel, worrying about what response we're going to get, what people are going to say, how are they going to find me, are they going to like me? You know, it's kind of. You don't know these people, don't worry about it. Just press record. You know? In time, you'll get to know people. In fact, me doing this um, channel, as you know, I've put myself out there. I haven't just, I haven't hid behind my camera. No. I kind of, I, I hope I've brought a bit of our life to you as well. It's not just about the news, it's about how we live here in France, you know. It's um, landscape and, you know, the garden maybe, you know, or in the workshop. Just heart on your sleeve, you could say, I suppose. That's what I like to say, heart on your sleeve. And it's... Oh, butterfly. <laughs> and, um, it's not, as you can probably tell, I mean, this, is, this is all ad hoc. I'm just, just chatting the chat, really, I suppose. But I'm just trying to make out that sometimes it's just, we need to give a little people, give some people a bit of support. You know? Emotional support, you know, a few nice kind words and what have you. Now, as you know, my dear missus, she's been joining me on some of these videos recently on the walks and what have you and dear Caroline she is a very very shy person she struggles um she's already people she knows and stuff like that you know what I mean but people that she don't know she, she's so nervous and shy and she finds it difficult it doesn't help because her hearing is terrible I mean she's got really bad hearing um even with the hearing aids she's she's really struggles and so her pronunciation isn't very good sometimes and stuff like that Probably better than mine, mind, but. <laughs> and when people leave strange comments, I think it's just unnecessary. Because some people could be cruel. But if you're doing YouTube, you've got to rise above it. I'll tell you what, you, what happens, you get thick skinned over, after a while. You do, you get thick skinned. But it takes time. When you first start a channel, every little comment and stuff, you, get, you react to it and you think, oh, you know. And you get a bit longer in the tooth, don't you? And it's, uh, and then you realise, well, does it really matter? <laughs> Probably never going to meet these people. <laughs> but, uh, no, but I, in time, you kind of get you you get this. Um, you end up with like an emotional connection with those who watch your videos on a regular basis, and it becomes more than just a YouTube channel. 
and I go through the comments. I get so many comments, and they're not directly necessarily at me or necessarily at the video itself. Sometimes it's you guys and gals are chatting to each other. Like when I do the live streams, and yeah, yeah, um, and you in you know in the chat there, or I said the comments, all the chat, in the chat, and obviously the live stream, and it's um, you're engaging with each other. So it becomes like a community. I think it's lovely. I really do. I really think it's lovely. You know, and like I say, I find it hot, um, humbling and uh, emotional. You know, because we live in a world at the moment where it's very hard to be positive about anything, to be honest. There's so much negativity and... Especially with this flipping Tory government, oh my God. <laughs> the stuff that comes out of their mouths, though, it's, it's comical, a lot of it is. It's just comical, you know. It's just, what the hell are they going to say next? It's mad. But for me, you see, I have this channel. And I can kind of, well, express myself through this channel. So, for somebody who's rather insular, like I'm quite an insular person. I, I don't, well, I mean, Mrs. We're not, you know, we are, oh, we'll go Friday night and we'll go to the pub and stuff like that. We've never, ever been like that. That's not who we are. For me, I'm quite happy to tinker in my workshop, or do stuff on the computer, maybe do a bit of art or something, you know. Or make some videos. Research and stuff. I'm quite comfortable in my own, you know, in my own company. The missus, she was away for three weeks because we had a new grandson. She was helping my daughter, my daughter, sorry. And um, it was, I find it easy. You know, obviously communicated with Caroline every single day, obviously, you know, because it's easy, isn't it, these days with uh, technology as it is. And it's and it's free, you know, whether you use Messenger or whatever, anything like that. And, um, yeah, so it, sometimes it's, how to put it, um, it's not natural for me to, uh, to, co to communicate. I suppose it's more so now, but when I was, uh, when we first came here to France, what have you, things we live in the country and we, you know, <laughs> there's nobody here hardly, you know. <laughs> How many times you see us on a walk back videos and we bump into people? Unless we're at a lake somewhere, or whatever, but you know, we're not that <laughs> very rare. They're in people. We are the people. <laughs> so it's, um, it can be quite, not just insular, but also, uh, oh, what's the word? Not lonely, because we're not lonely. It's not that. Isolated, maybe? We are isolated. But I'm quite happy at that, as an individual. But some people, you know, I, I, I say to people, I can, you know, I can get up, walk out, I can go and find people if I want to. But when they got that comment this morning, that wasn't an option for that gentleman. You know, it's, he ain't the only one. There's going to be others. There's going to be people who struggle to communicate or make friends. And they're engaging with me, you know, via these videos and in the uh, comments section and stuff like that. It, it becomes a form of socialising. Like when you do the live streams and that, we're chatting in the live streams, it's like we're engaging. It's, it's positive. I think so. So I suppose that's where it's different with um, this channel and other people's channels and that, you know. Um, this is more of a vlog style, I suppose, this channel isn't. Especially the walks that we've been doing recently, it's very much a vlog style. And I, I haven't been editing any of my videos recently. So to try and get your, your worms out, it's not always that easy. You make mistakes. You do make mistakes. I'm not going to lie, though. I'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to go out of my way to lie. I, no way. I, I don't be a Tory. <laughs> I don't be a Boris Johnson. Well... The point is, I suppose, you don't realise how your videos, your, your content that you create, how it affects other people. You just don't. I didn't. I really didn't. Well, you sort of create connections, I suppose. And it's been, ver this has been, I was mentioning about Caroline a minute ago, actually, I, I, missed, um, I forgot to say that it's actually been very good for her. She's 
built, it's built, helped build her confidence up. She wouldn't say boo to a ghost before, and it's, you know, the fact she's actually saying a couple of words and what have you in, in these videos is a big deal for her, it really is. And it's for me as well, actually, because I like to see it, you know? Create that banter and that, you know, it's, it's kind of how we communicate in our house, you know? We just, we have this constant banter going. She gives, don't get me wrong, she gives me as good as I, I get, you know, I get as good well, she throws it back at me. <laughs> she does. <laughs> But she wouldn't do it generally in front of people. Not at all. I suppose we're getting onto mental health really, aren't we? Isolation is it's difficult. And isolation comes in many forms. For my dear wife now, she struggles in certain environments because her hearing's really bad, so she tends not to put herself in that position. She tends not to uh, go to places where she knows she isn't going to be able to hear because of all that mingle of all these different voices and stuff because the hearing aids, you see, it doesn't really give you much in the way of direction. No. It really affects, it was, you know, those people are deaf, obviously people are blind even worse, but, you know, people who suffer with um, deafness and count about 70% down, so it's quite severe. It's uh, isolating, I would say, probably it is isolating. So that for her to, to be able to take part a little bit and uh, build a bit of confidence up, it does us so much good. It really does. But unfortunately, there are always people out there who will do whatever they can to bring you down. Whether their goal is just to bring the channel down so you stop uploading videos, or whether it's uh, people just do it, some people just do it just be nasty. You know, or they think they're being funny. But you just got to ride over, haven't you? It's like you fall off that bike, you got to get, or oh, fall off the horse, that's it. You fall off the horse, you got to get back on the horse. I suppose it's the same with a bike as well, right? especially a motorbike, you got to get back on. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, so it's, it has been a humbling process, but also it's, um, you realise that some people are just kind. Some people are just really, really kind, and generous as well. Because look, we've had the, um, the super chats and stuff like that and buy me a coffees and stuff when you know we were struggling last last time a few weeks ago and we got a lot of support we really did and it's like okay i have to keep going no matter what you don't really you know people are depending on you i thought cr crumbs really am i dodgy old youtube channel <laughs> what the hell <laughs> this makes you wonder doesn't it but this video's getting a bit long isn't it but it is, that's oh, 17 minutes. Oh, that's me, I suppose. Yabba, 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 jabba, jabba, jabba. Yeah. But, um, there's a few individuals, some of the, you know, often comment on this videos, what have you. And one person there was extremely generous and really life, was a lifesaver to us. So you know, he really was. And, um, when I found him, what have you, he says, sometimes you just have to share. And I thought, oh, what? <laughs> why, why, why with me? And I thought, oh, crikey, and it's just, um, for us, it was, you know, it was, a lot, it was, it was, you know, a really generous co contribution, and it was, bring tear to your eye, you know, people are just so kind. And, uh, yeah, about a week ago, or two weeks ago, no? anyway, I was on, on live with uh, Max Rose Bear, and uh, he's just trying to help us out, you know. That was kind. Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a you know genuine geezer, and there's other uh, uh, you know quite young channels as well that have started out. So you have got those established ones like Max Rose Bear and what have you. He's, he's you know he does try to help people, and you have got other channels out there who just started out. Like I said about number three, but also Reagan Elite, this and the Snowflake sh Show as well, which he's also on that one as well. They just started out and they just need a bit of support, you know and. Uh, you know, none of these channels are perfect. Mine isn't perfect, but you're learning all the time. You are learning, you develop, and you end up find, finding your feet, and you find, you know, your, your direction at the moment. I think it's, you know, Caroline. <laughs> Make sure I include my dear missus. Because, uh, yeah, people seem to like that kind of walkie type videos. You know, and that sort of bring you into our home, into our life, really, I suppose. I suppose that's what it is, maybe. But yeah, um, you just got right. I suppose, long story short, 
<laughs> what me? <laughs> I, I think people, on the whole, are inherently good. Mo most people are decent. Most people. There's only a few that aren't. It's a minority. Unfortunately, they're the ones that end up in the press or or shout the loudest or been paid as bad actors. I won't be a bit surprised, <laughs> to be fair. But, you know, um, I'm quite comfortable in front of the camera these days. I, I, I am, as you can probably tell, maybe. I'm quite confident with it now, I'm quite comfortable. Um, I'm not saying everybody enjoys my videos, because I obviously don't, you know, no one likes my style and <laughs> how I present myself. <laughs> Actually, when I watch the videos, I can understand why. <laughs> but it is hard. YouTube's not easy. And uh, when you watch some of these YouTubes, you, you make you wonder what is really going on behind the scenes for some of them. Because to maintain that level of everything's the same every time, you know I mean, it's, that's not necessarily honest. And they're try some YouTubers will tr are forcing themselves. I'm not saying they're doing wrong, obviously not. But they're, just, they're for forcing themselves, and it's hard on them to do so. But they feel that's an expectation. You know, uh, maybe it's what they think that the viewer wants to see all the time, and repetition is. Well, I have to admit, is one of the things that makes a channel thrive. See, I'm not like that, I'm, I'm erratic. <laughs> you just sat down and start talking to the camera, you know? But it's... Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy being a YouTuber. No, it isn't. Yeah. And also when you're competing with the other side of politics and... And hateful people as well. You know, like the Andrew Tates. Well, I'll compete with him, obviously. Not, but, yeah, but, um, oh, quick, then you've got other idiots here, like Nick Fuentes and that. People like that. It's just horrible individuals. There's plenty of them online, you know, on, on, on YouTube. And they, you know, they're given a voice. It's more like whack-a-mole. <laughs> These people are unreal. They really are. But anyway... I suppose I better get out of this heat because I'm melting, you know. Oh, my beard's warming up. Yeah, I've got a Grimbergen. Yeah, triple triple hop. <laughs> what was a bee? Hello, bee. Oh, yeah, they, they, don't, they, don't sting me. They don't sting me. Anyway, I just want to share it with you. And um, I do appreciate the comments, I really do. Even if they are quite emotional sometimes, and it's kind of a, it's a bit, give you a bit of a, I suppose, a trigger. A bit, it gives you a, like a trigger response. But yeah, it, might, it just makes you realise that it isn't just about you. I think that's what it is. It's not just about you and your YouTube channel. Uh, you know, it's about how the content that you provide, you put online, how it affects others, positively or negatively. Come to that. Mm. Never realised it would, or if it did. Not like that. I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to go because um, I'm rumbling on now. I really am. Like I say, I'm, a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy. That's what I am. <laughs> so I say ta-ta, you know, so ta-ta. I think it's time to go for a dog walk. Mm.